everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm here today with my first ever Team Sparkle Design Team project. And thank you so much, Jennifer, for giving me the opportunity to play with your digitals. They are beautiful. So for my first project, I decided I was gonna alter this tea tin. I have a friend of mine who gets her teas in these cute little tins, and then she gifts me the tins. And thank you, Tracy, for that. So I just love altering them. They're so super cute. So I decided to use the digital kit sugared linens and look how beautiful is this paper. I, I'm absolutely in love with this paper. So I took the tin, I gave it a coat of gesso, then I painted it with um, a chalk paint that is the color ballet slipper and it just goes so perfect with the paper. Then I took this sheet of paper and I decoupaged this printable on all the sides and on the top because I absolutely love it. So for the top, I did put a piece of the ephemera from the ephemera pack on the top, on top of some cheesecloth, but I had an issue with this uh, little knob and in order to get it fit snug enough on the lid, I had to add some more dimension so I kind of covered that piece up but you can still see it pack, uh, peeking through in the back and this lovely flower is from one of the snippity snip laces from Angel Dream Crafts that I love. Then I dyed some seam binding using the uh, Victorian Velvet Distress Stain because all I had was white seam binding. So I dyed some seam binding and made a couple bows and then I popped in a beautiful bling from Angel Dream Crafts right there. And then I added uh, the pink rhinestone trim from Angel Dream Crafts around the top. I just thought it was so, so pretty. So on top of the paper on the sides, on this side, I used the little Eiffel Tower from the ephemera pack. And I just put this frame around it. And then inside the frame, I put more of that pink rhinestone trim because I love it and another bow and another adorable one of the sugar heart crystals from Angel Dream Crafts. It's so cute and look at this paper. This paper is beautiful. Jennifer, I love it. I love it. So this is one of the pieces from uh, the printable collection. Isn't it pretty? And I stickled the pearls and this actually has another ornate piece on the bottom that I cut off to make it fit on the side. And then I inked all the edges, it's so cute. And then on this side, I did a little um, corset tie to make a pocket. And I used the little um, rose gold eyelets that I had in my stash. And so I made a little pocket and in the pocket is this cute little tag from her um, ephemera kit. Isn't it pretty? I, of course, stickled the flowers and I put a little pull tag on there and inked it up. It's absolutely gorgeous and it fits right down in the pocket, but I do have to pull the corset out a little bit to get it to slide in, so I will do that in a minute. <laughs> and then on this side is another piece uh, from her digital. Isn't it pretty? I stickled the flowers, of course, and I inked the edges and it's so super cute. And I did want to mention that on the bottom, I actually put these uh, diamond confetti from Hobby Lobby because I think they make really great feet, but I was out of E6000, so they're just popped on with some hot glue, but my husband is going to go to Walmart tomorrow and he's going to pick me up some E6000 and I will get those properly attached because they're not going to stay on with hot glue, but they'll be easy to pop off and then reattach later. But I wanted, I was excited to show the project, so I went ahead and popped it on with some with some hot glue. <laughs> now, even though the knob is cute, it, you can't really open it with the knob because I think I just put too much paint around the edges and I didn't clean it off. So you gotta kind of get uh, here. It's really easier than I'm making it look. I, I promise. So inside, I made a cute little tag flip, which I'm excited to share. So let me lay it out. I just happen to have this uh, like rose gold or coppery uh, binder ring. I have no idea where I got that, but I love it. It was perfect for this, perfect for, for this project. 
So I added one of the uh, Dream Keys from Angel Dream Crafts, and then I had this beautiful um, tassel that matched everything. Somebody gift that, gifted that to me. Thank you very much. I love it. So I put that on there. And then a piece of frayed fabric. And then here on a rose gold uh, bulb pin, I have this cute little bow charm I got from Angel Dream Crafts. And then this is so cute. This is from the digital kit, isn't it adorable? And I attached that on the same bulb pin with this beautiful piece of ephemera from the kit. And all I did was ink the edges and stickle it up because it was just so pretty. This was actually a postcard and I cut it down to fit in my tag flip. Isn't it adorable? And so I created this tag using some bits uh, from her kit. She has uh, the tag itself was in the kit and then this was part of a larger piece and I just cut that out and put it on top of some fabric and then decorated it up. Using some snippets, isn't it cute? Super cute. So we'll flip that. Here is another tag from her kit and I made this adorable pocket with a lace that came from Angel Dream Crafts and I added this really pretty flower. Can you see like the sparkle on that flower? It's so pretty. And then um, there's a tag. This flower is gorgeous. And this is a piece of ephemera from her digital kit and it just slides right in there. So sweet. And then this was part of a lace master board I made the other day. I had such a good time making it and I cut bits of it up and used it in this project. And then I just pinned on this little um, vintage circle that was part of her kit. Too cute. And then this is another um, card from her kit and I just sewed around the edges and then made a little snippet cluster in the corner. And then I put a piece of this in here. I used this throughout this project. I just love this stuff. So I thought I'd just put a piece of it in there. And then this is another one of her tags. This is part of my um, snippets. And then I added some pink snippets, some of my pink uh, favorite pink wedding lace from Angel Dream Crafts. And then I added some rhinestones. And I made a little pocket out of my snippets right there with another piece from her. Um, digital kit and I actually cut this down it was bigger it's just cute slides right in there all right and now oh, I love this I love this little piece so this is a little uh, tag I created using some ephemera from her kit and isn't that flower that shoe gorgeous and I of course stickled all the flowers and put some cheesecloth and fabric on top of this other piece that was from her um, digital kit just love it and so here is another tag I created from a tag in her kit and I just made a little pocket right here out of laces and then put a little lace cluster right there and this little envelope is also from her kit isn't it cute it's so cute so it just slides right in there adorable and then I put another one of my snippets right there with a beautiful uh, ro uh, one of the ribbon roses from Angel Dream Crafts. And I made um, another bow to stick just in the flip. Isn't it cute? And then this piece is also from her kit. Isn't it sweet? So I added some lace and some stickles and a little cluster with another rolled rose from Angel Dream Crafts. And I think it is so sweet. I love how this turned out. I had such a great time creating this whole thing. So I would love it if you would leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I will put a link to Jennifer's Etsy store below and a direct link to this kit that I am using. And please leave me a comment. Please leave me a thumbs up and let me know what you think. And I will see you all on the next one. Bye everybody.